New at 5, Oklahoma is seeing an influx of immigrants seeking asylum as they cross the border into the United States. The University of Tulsa has an immigrant resource network that's helping with the recent increase. Gen News reporter Sierra Pizarro spoke with one migrant about why she's seeking asylum. Sierra? Well, this influx of immigrants here in Tulsa, I'm told, began when President Biden took office. TU's Immigrant Resource Clinic is visited by people from different parts of the world who say they're just trying to survive. This is the meeting point for thousands of migrants, the U.S.-Mexico border. We don't have in our country the option to apply right now for a visa. This is the reason because people is doing this right now. Mylet Arcia is a med tech for a Tulsa hospital. She came from Venezuela five years ago. The situation in my country is really, really bad because Maduro is torturing everybody. Nicolas Maduro is Venezuela's authoritarian president. Arcia wanted to move her young son away from it all. Just because I was suffering in my country about the persecution from the government. She says the rest of her family also suffered. Ellos fueron eh, maltratados, golpeados en algunas ocasiones. Arcia says they were even beaten for protesting and that her mom has since died because of the stress. The rest of Arcia's family wanted to follow in her footsteps. They went to the U.S.-Mexico border to get help. Arcia says that's where they were split up and started the asylum process. It's hard to me uh, deal with this situation. I don't know how actually do it. So that is because I'm here, because probably this is an auction for, for support them. Arcia is also pending asylum status. There are many just like her waiting. We do lots of legal consultations and intakes here at the TU Legal Clinic. And just in the last month and a half, we've seen a huge uptick in recent arrivals to our area who are um, asylum seekers looking for, you know, safety and stability. Attorney Robin Sherman says achieving asylum status isn't easy. Legal hoops and eligibility requirements can be complicated. Even though you left your country because you would have been killed and if you return to your country, you're certainly going to be killed. That doesn't mean you qualify for asylum. Sherman and her team provide legal consultations for immigrants, whether they're documented or not. The majority of those they help are afraid and were forced to leave their home countries. So to be considered for asylum in the U.S., applicants must be physically present here for less than a year, regardless of how they arrived, and show proof they were persecuted or feel fear of persecution. I'm Sierra Pizarro, 2 News. Thanks, Sierra. Now, NBC is continuing its deep dive into the crisis at the border. Tonight's story focuses on people living in a shelter in Tijuana who saved money for years and used Facebook to connect with coyotes to bring them across the border, only to be caught and immediately deported. Look for that story on Nightly News at 530.